In our current work, we develop a novel set of methods that we call one-step metallurgy from oxides to sustainable bulk alloys in a single processing step. The key idea is that we want to unify and merge the typically separated processes of metal extraction from minerals, from liquid metal mixing and alloy development, and thermomechanical processing, which is done to lend metals their properties. As we all know, since the Bronze Age, since more than five millennia, these process steps are separate. That means we extract the minerals in the form of ores from mines, we bring these metal-rich or metal-poor oxides to the production sites, then we charge them into large furnaces, things for instance like blast furnaces, and of course these videos only represent toy examples of that, where we extract the metals from the ores, usually by using fossil reductants with a huge carbon dioxide footprint. And then we reheat them, bring them to the next factory where they are charged into vessels to make liquid metal mixing, and then we cast them, bring them into slab forms and so on, where they are then subjected to downstream further manufacturing steps that equip them with a well-known microstructure by forging, rolling, heat treatment, quenching, and so on. And this is how we produce metals since more than 5,000 years. And then these materials are shipped to the customer to serve in high-end value-added products like transportation, safety, fine mechanics, and so on. Now we have applied this one-step merger where we bring all together in one single furnace to the nickel-iron invar alloys. These are metallic alloys that are meant to have a minimum thermal expansion serving in fine mechanics, in power plants, in LNG ships, in liquid gas processing and so on. And how we do this is that we pre-mix these different oxide mixtures, as is shown on this slide, and then we bring them into one single furnace where we expose them not to carbon fossil reductants like carbon monoxide or methane, but we expose them to hydrogen, to sustainably produced hydrogen. And from that the hydrogen is reducing these oxide mixtures, not just single oxide, but oxide mixtures, in a way that they can directly mix by solid state diffusion and form alloys in the same oven, in the same process. That means the formally separated process of extraction and mixing is done in a single reactor and it's not done in the liquid state, but in the solid state. And also we adjust the temperature to allow diffusion and pore closing to arrive at desired microstructures. And this is done on solid thermodynamic grounds, as you see in this slide, where we pick certain combinations of metals that are prone to undergo co-reduction by hydrogen in such a setup. And not only the thermodynamics is well guided, but so is the microstructure design. That means we run these processes in a way where we, for instance, avoid coarse grinding, but allow for surface diffusion, for pore filling and similar aspects. And this allows us to, as you see on this slide, to produce metals of the size already of a coin in the laboratory, which come out as ready to go and compact bike alloys. And we also discover many new features during this so that you don't have a linear sequence of reduction of alloy number one, oxide number one, or reduction of oxide number two, but a complex co-partitioning between the oxides and the metals. With that, I thank you very much for your attention and hope you read the full paper. Bye-bye.